Hello everybody. I have uh, something abandoned to show you here. I'm way, way up in the mountains here. And uh, this, besides this, besides this uh, bridge here, this is an old river stream down there. You see that? This is, if you just were walking along, you might not even notice it there, except for this big metal thing. This is an old bathtub. This is uh, Ohuro. An old Japanese bathtub. Very uh, old style. And so wooden tubs are uh, pretty rare to find. There, uh, a great deal of craftsmanship went into the making of these. They're very uh, difficult to make. The uh, joints are held together with the uh, saturation and the moisture that holds them together and keeps them from leaking. There is no caulking or anything. And uh, very. Uh, well made. My father-in-law, up until two years ago, they had an old wooden one like this, but it uh, fell apart at last after so many decades. And he was proud of telling me how the house cost a certain amount of money to make, but the bath to the bathtub was like two thirds of that. So the uh, you know the bathtub was almost expensive, as expensive as the house. That's how humble their home was. Very humble home, but they went. They spared no expense in getting the tub. I wonder if I can get over here without falling off. Let's see. Look at the woodwork here. You can see the, uh, here's the plug where the water would go in. The, the idea is that underneath this tub, they would have had a fire. It's upside down. This is the bottom of the tub here. It would have been upside down, and there would have been a fire. You can, here's the slot here where they could stoke the fire underneath. So imagine it's upside down, they had the fire, and it would, you would heat it from below, and there was an insulator and uh, that would heat the water within. You had to do it carefully so it didn't burn. And then uh, they were, on the bottom, they would put a little device down there so they could put their feet on without burning their feet. And then they would soak in the tub. And these uh, metal bands held it together. You can see how it's falling right there. Oh, let me see if I can go over here without falling off. This little cliff. <laughs> Get a nice shot of this. There we go, there we go. And uh, you can see the inside is in seemingly better condition. That's where the water was up against it. And over here, this is all been worn away. And then uh, the way it works in the Japanese household is that the, uh, there's a hierarchy. The uh, father would be first to take his bath, the oldest man of the household, grandfather, father, whatever. And then his sons, followed by the daughters, and uh, the grandparents are somewhere in there. And then the very last, at the end of the night, would be mother. And that is because the uh, first one to take the bath gets the warm, hot water and the, uh, is the real special person. And then the mother at the end with the cold, somewhat dirty water. Remember, the Japanese bathe outside the tub and then only soak in the tub to warm up. So this is an old bathtub that's been laying here by the side of the road. And there's another uh, item there. That's worth another video right there. So I'll, I'll stop this one now at the end of the bathtub and start another video and talk about that item right there. Okay. There's a whole host of videos, opportunities up here in these high mountains, these small villages. Take care everybody. Thanks for stopping by to join me.